What is up guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you another video similar to my jacket collection that I uploaded not too long ago. This time I'm going to show you my jersey collection. All of these jerseys were thrifted or found at the flea market. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and um, you guys let me know in the comments what do you think. I'm going to save my personal three favorite to the end. But no more talking, let me show you what I got. So the first one we have is the all white Dirk Nowitzki jersey. Uh, this one I actually thrifted for $4.99. I'm going to try to remember how much I paid for these but... Uh, most of them I probably won't but this is the all-white Dirk. Uh, this one's cool, but that is this one next up We have Jason the Jet Terry. This one is uh, by Adidas. The last one was by Reebok Obviously Jason Terry does not play for the Mavericks anymore um, I found this one for like a dollar at a garage sale and like I said He doesn't play for us anymore But he was a key part in winning the championship and getting Dirk his first championship and for the longest time I was scared that Dirk was gonna end up like Barkley and not have a championship by the end of his career but fortunately that did not happen. Next up I do have a couple of starter jerseys. The first one is the Troy Aikman Dallas Cowboys jersey, the away. Starter size 48. And you got Aikman number 8 on the back. I don't remember how much I paid for this one, but I know it wasn't very much. The next one we have is the Dallas Stars starter jersey. Um, you have the stars and the logo right there stitched in on the front. Nothing on the back and then you have the little Texas logos on the shoulders. This one is a XL. Um, this one I'm probably going to be getting rid of soon because this one is too big for me. I need a size large in these. Next up we have the Boston Bruins. Um, don't remember how much I paid for this one either, but I know it was no more than $10. Uh, you got the big Boston Bruins logo right here stitched on the front. Uh, this one is actually a size medium, but it fits like a large, so this one does fit me. And again, nothing on the back of this one by Starter. Next up, another one I'm going to be getting rid of soon because it just fits me too big. That is the Chicago Bulls uh, baseball jersey. You got the big starter diamond right there on the left sleeve. Bulls logo right here stitched in on the chest. And then the NBA diamond on the right sleeve. This one is a size XL by starter, like I said. Um, and then on the back you have the Bulls all stitched in. And again, I do not remember how much I paid for this one, but I do know that this one is in a trip to the thrift. I want to say I paid like $4.99, but you guys can go back and check it out. Uh, I'm probably wrong. These next ones are a couple of Nike jerseys. The first one is the Bullets Michael Jordan jersey. This one I did get for five bucks. Uh, this one was in a recent video. The numbers are a little faded on the back, but that's okay because this is a jersey that I was actually looking for for a long time. It is a XL. I was happy to finally pick this one up. Then we have the Chicago Bulls warm up jersey. Uh, this one is by Nike, size XL. You have Chicago right here on the front. Um, there's the jock tag. And then you just have the little Bulls logo on the back. This one is pretty clean. Then we have the Wizards home jersey, the Michael Jordan. The numbers are a little bit faded on this one as well. But this one I only got for a dollar at a garage sale because it had some stains on it. But I was able to get the stains out. I was happy to get this one for only a dollar. So I have the home jersey. You know I had to get the away jersey size large pretty good shape um i actually found this one at a thrift store that's no longer around anymore which sucks because i did find a lot of good stuff at that store then we have the allen iverson size xl uh, 76ers jersey in the black iverson number three on the back again a little bit of fading but this one was super cheap too i think this one was only like a dollar 99 all right now we're gonna get into my champion jerseys the first one is not my size it is this Grant Hill. It's a youth large, but the reason why I kept this one around, if you can't see, there is a autograph on this one. I don't know if it's authentic or not, but I thought I would just keep it around. You can see it says Grant Hill 33. So I thought this one was pretty cool, and I think I got this one from a garage sale as well. Next up, we got the Dennis Rodman Bulls jersey, the red one. Rodman on the back, number 91. No cracking whatsoever on this one. I got this one from the flea market for $10 size 48 this one is super clean then we got the chicago bulls michael jordan jersey in the black colorway jordan on the back no cracking on this one at all again size 48 on this one and if i got the black one you know i have to have the red one um i actually got both of these the black and the red one together from uh the flea market for i think i got both of them for 30 dollars, so 15 each again no cracking at all on this one as well then we got the team usa shaquille o'neal jersey this one, I actually don't remember where I got it from, but I know it was really cheap because it's, as you can tell, it's pretty cracked. But um, some people actually like that look. I'm not a big fan of the cracked look, 
But this one, um, I was just like, whatever, I'll take it. It's 48 again. And you got the little USA Team USA patch right there. So this one was pretty cool. I got a second Jordan jersey, uh, the red one. Same thing, size 48. Don't have to show you guys it again, really. This one is actually pretty cool. A lot of people do like this one. Um, and that is the Michael Jordan number 45 jersey. As you can see, it does have some cracking right here on the four, but it's not really that big of a deal. Size 48 again. The front doesn't look too bad, but the back is pretty cracked. But it doesn't really bother me that much, um, especially since this is kind of a harder jersey to find. And this one I got a long time ago. I really don't even remember. It was back when I was making thrift pickup videos like on my first YouTube channel. That was years ago, so I have uh, I don't remember how much I paid for this one, honestly. Uh, but I know it wasn't very expensive. I have three more jerseys to show you guys. These are actually my three favorite in my collection. Um, these are just my personal favorite. So the first one is the All-Star 1996 Michael Jordan jersey. I actually got this one from the flea market a long time ago as well. This one I do remember paying $5 for. I just really love the colorway and I really love the logo that's on this one. Uh, so I was really happy to find this one for $5 when I did. And again, no cracking or nothing on this one. And this is one that I get a lot of interest in. Um, people are always trying to buy this one off me, but I do, this is, this one and the next two I'm gonna show you, I will never get rid of. So that's the 96 Jordan All-Star. So this next jersey, a lot of people probably aren't gonna like as much as I do, but being the gamer that I am, um, this, I just really love this jersey. And it's the Mario Strikers soccer jersey. Uh, this one came out, it was like a promo item well, when the game came out on the GameCube. Number one Mario on the back and then you got the GameCube logo right there on the sleeve. This one has always been a favorite of mine. Um, you got Nintendo 2005 down here when the game came out. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for this jersey but I know it was cheap because like the other one that I showed you guys earlier, this one had stains on it as well. So it was, I think it was like $2.99 or $3.99, I don't remember. But again, the stains came out of this one, so I was happy to pick this one up. And I'm not even like a big soccer fan like that, but I am a Mario fan. And then the last one, um, this is actually going to be in an upcoming trip to the thrift. So I haven't shown it yet on YouTube, but it will be in the next one. I barely picked this jersey up yesterday, um, and that is the Chris Jericho hockey jersey from uh, the WWF. And on the back, you got Jericho Y2J. And as you can see, I only paid $1.49 for this one. I haven't even took the tag off of it yet. Um, it says it's 4X, but it's not. Uh, here on the WWF tag, you can see it's size 48 large. And again, this one is in amazing condition. And these jerseys go from anywhere from like 80 to like between 80 to 120. So for $1.49, being the big wrestling fan that I am, um, I was super happy to find this one. The Y2J on the sleeves. But yeah, super dope. So it turns out that my camera died while I was trying to record the outro. So I'm gonna record it on my phone. So that was my jersey collection, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not already. Drop a comment down below and I will see you guys soon with another video. So later.